Welcome my GCSE students. Today we're looking at exercise 9.15, Venn diagrams and probability. So uh, let's quickly work our way through this one. I've got, I'm just doing one example. This is one of the ones that you have. Um, of course, if you get stuck on any of the others, let me know. 35 students in the class. We've got 18 studying geography, 22 studying history, and five studying neither geography or history. And we've got to show this in a Venn diagram. So here's my Venn diagram. I'm going to have history here and geography here. Now I know straight away that there's five people that don't study either of those options. Miss D would be very upset about that. And we have 22 who study history. Um, and 20 uh, so and, and 18 that study geography. Now, of course, that includes this little bit in here. So what we do in these cases, we say we don't actually know what's in there. So we're going to go uh, for geography, we're going to go 18, subtract x in this part, and for the history, uh, we're going to go 22 minus x in this part. And then we probably want to find out what those are. So altogether, there's 35. So 35 should be equal to 5. And then we add all these other things up, plus 22, plus 18. And then we gather our x's, and it's just going to be one minus 1x, one because x minus 2x ends up being minus x. OK, so um, we can bring the x across to the left-hand side, and then the uh, 35 across to the right-hand side. So we've got 22 plus 18 plus 5, which is 45. Take away 35, so x is equal to 10. And now we can go ahead and change a few things. So we've got a 10 in here. 18 minus 10 is 8, 22 minus 10 is 12. So that's our Venn diagram. Now, once we've got that, um, we are going on to part B, where we've got to show uh, the probability that the students uh, studies, that, that a random student studies both history and, and geography. Well, that's obviously this 10 number here. They're studying both. So it's 10 out of 35 students in this class, or um, well, we could just leave it as, that's fine. That's, uh, well, um, five goes into both, so I guess we could say two sevens. Okay, now the second one here is part two. We're trying to find the probability the student studies history, but not geography. So that will be the 12 students that study history, but not geography, and that's out of 35. Um, so, can we simplify that at all? I don't think so. Okay, now C. A student who studies history is chosen at random. So now we're dealing with anyone in the history circle. So there's 22. They're chosen at random. Find the probability that this student studies geography. Well, you can see that the total is 22, so that's going to be our denominator. But out of that 22, the the chance that one of them that you pick is also studying geography is 10, because 10 of them also study geography. So we can say, well, that's 5 elevenths. And D, uh, two students are chosen at random. Find the probability that only one of them studies history. Now, I'm assuming we're taking this from the whole class. So uh, let's say that we pick the first one and they study history. So out of the 35, the chance that they study history is 22. Then now we've only got 34 students to pick from, and uh, we don't want somebody who studies history. Um, so that means we've got to look at this and this, which is 13. And now I'm going to multiply this result by two because I could have had, I could have picked the person uh, who uh, didn't did study history the second as a second person. So there's two ways of getting this answer. So that's why I'm multiplying by 2. And that gives me, I don't know what it gives me, 22 over 35 uh, times 13 over 34 uh, times 2. And that gives me 286 uh, over 595, or uh, 0.481 to three significant figures. So that's a little bit of an intro into how to use Venn diagrams and uh, solve probability questions with you. Alright, take care.